What is up, my dudes? This is Yardbro, and you're tuning into another episode of my lawn. Now, we have conducted a little test keys. <laughs> Fertilizer doesn't just work by itself. Oh yeah, proof that fertilizer alone does not work, hundred percent. So you're, if your lawn's a little bit ugly, and you just lay down some fertilizer, it's not gonna do the job. So, same piece of land with a fence in between, we applied the STA Green Weed and Feed, which is an NPK rating of 2804. 28 nitrogen, zero phosphorus, four potassium. Crazy, this 28 nitrogen, I mean, it. the growth, I just, okay. So I cut the grass after I fertilized and a couple days later, it was a jungle out there. Two days later, it's a jungle again. It's crazy, I can't wait to put down some PGR, some TNX back here to, you know, stunt that growth a little bit and start cutting a little bit lower because man i'm gonna have to be out here every two days if if, if this keeps up it's, it's it's insane but the testing grounds remember we put that same fertilizer down all we did was aerate and we put down the fertilizer and weed and feed what happened absolutely nothing testing grounds is not properly irrigated has never been overseeded and the soil is just compacted and dry now we did aerate, which would have helped, right? But with zero irrigation and just relying on rainwater, nothing's going into the holes. So you're literally just wasting that 30 plus dollar bag of fertilizer if your yard looks like this. It's the same thing with your lawn. If it does look like this right now and you just put fertilizer down, more than likely you're just throwing away that 30 buck. So my suggestion would be to water your lawn deep for at least two days, then aerate then put down a layer of topsoil to give the area back a little bit of much needed nutrients. Overseed the entire area, add a little starter fertilizer, water three times a day, and wait for the grass to revive again. I guarantee in one month you're, you'll see a huge difference. Huge! Now, like I said, same land with a fence in between. It was very similar looking September 2020, about 10 months ago. And now look at it. It's it's lush. I mean, I'm stepping on this grass and then it bounces back. It's green. I mean, yeah, there's, you know, some weeds here. There's some poanua. It's all good. But it, at least it doesn't look like testing grounds. You know, I, I really wish we could put some irrigation in testing grounds. But at the end of the day, it's not my property. <laughs> I'm not going to waste my time. So I'd rather just show you guys, you know, the front and the back. And um, unfortunately, I think testing grounds, uh, we're gonna call it a day with testing grounds, but it's nice to see this little test that we, you know, concluded that fertilizer alone by itself on an ugly piece of area, ugly piece of land, doesn't help to revive it. All right, my dudes, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next video. Check out Rick's yard. Oh, there's the new hotness. The 40 volt. Get it, boy. <laughs> Dang, Rick, this is freaking green. Look at how green that is. Right here. Whoa. Yeah, it looks good. That looks good. Check out the back. <laughs> I promise the subscribers to check out the back. Nice. Ooh, look at the jigsaw. You put more organite in the back? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Look at this grass. Yeah, I told you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys. Yeah, this grass is legit. 
Crece.